to another haul of stuff where I will show you what I have purchased for my Power Rangers collection behind me. So I have got loads of stuff for you this month and firstly I have got Rita Repulsa so this is the new Rita which she does come under the deluxe wave so she's not a remastered figure although would suit very well to go with them so there is the box. I have reviewed this so I will leave a link at the end of the video for that and here is a quick look of the figure so she does look absolutely beautiful she's got a lot of changeable faces and accessories and stuff on there so she again comes with a soft good dress the same stuff that we've seen before but is uh, painted up very very nicely and she's just a beautiful figure she's absolutely lovely i did have a bit of a nightmare with pulse getting this but i do explain that in the video so if you want to check that out stay tuned to the end where i will attach a link for the review for this figure and you may have noticed my dragon zord t-shirt i did get this from super 7's website this was just a little dragon zord t-shirt now i did buy the one from hasbro pulse in the US and the quality on it was absolutely awful so I went for this and it's beautiful printing on it's really nice and it's a very nice little t-shirt it's very soft very comfortable so really really happy with that and next up I got some stands and I always try and promote these because people are always asking for little stands that are good for lightning collection figures and these are just little Funko Pop stands so they are a couple of quid for about 10 of them from China they're very cheap and they do fit very well so you can just plug in the peg hole on the bottom of the figure and some of the figures particularly the women it may be a little bit large for um, but they do sit very well once you've got the foot in they don't go anywhere don't fall over she can wobble about as much as she wants and she won't go anywhere so I do get them off of eBay and I buy them quite regularly, always posting links and stuff on the groups and whatever for them because they are really good just for a little extra stand for your feet which is easily disguisable really so I've got quite a few of them in the bag. So another item I've got is just a little stand that I use for the figures which you may be able to see behind me so up here you can see hopefully that um, they're just little steps that I use for my figures so just to save some space I tend to line up teams and that on there like that so I did get this from my local pound shop and they used to be three pounds they're now five are but compared to trying to get them on Amazon I think they're about eight to twelve pounds you can get extendable ones but you fit two of these on the Billy bookcase so they're absolutely perfect for any sort of collection anything that you're going to put on your Billy's so that's pretty cool and I did go to my local nerd base so this is a shop in Battles Bridge in Essex so if you're ever in the area or you're in Essex take a trip down there because they're really really good tons and tons of old retro stuff so they do anything from Power Rangers Transformers just anything you can imagine they've got like old hook figures tons and tons of comic books but they are my local go-to shop and in there I did get the full set so we've got the 2017 movie figures from Funko Pop. So we've got the yellow, pink, blue, the black one, and this is the full set that I managed to grab when I was there. They were about six pounds each. The red one, and I did get a Rita Repulsa. So there she is. She's pretty cool actually I really like that so that is the whole set apart from the two pack but they do also do a Zordon and Rita two pack so this is the uh, Red Ranger and the Green Ranger from the beginning cutscene of the film where the Power Rangers kind of lost the battle and Rita ended up in the sea till later on in the film when she comes back so that's a pretty cool little battle damage set and this one I had to end up picking up off of eBay just because I wanted to complete the set and get it done. But I ended up getting the whole set for about 40 to 45 pounds. So it included absolutely everything here. So that's a nice little dent to my Funko collection that that's made. So I will be putting them on the shelf with the others and getting rid of them out of my way. 
And I did get another Funko, so we've got the Pink Ranger. This is the standard one, not the metallic or the original one or anything like that. But it was just another one I needed to check off the list and she was pretty cheap off of eBay. And then uh, I just buy these protectors in packs of fives or tens, depending on how many I need off of eBay. For all you Funko haters out there, this is the last one, I apologize, but I am trying to just uh, get this collection done. So this is the Freddy Funko Green Ranger and it was from the Camp Fun Days. So it is limited to 5,000. There is another one that's glow in the dark that's limited to 4,000. So I will grab that when I find it for the right price. These are going down in price. So if you fancy these, do check out eBay because they do go for around about 25 pounds now. But a nice cool little Freddy Funko, the Green Ranger Dragon Dagger and his costume. If you see the glow in the dark one or you've got one for sale at a good price, do give me a shout out on Instagram or wherever. And another vinyl figure. So this is a Mighty Morphin Green Ranger glow in the dark. It's a Tokyo vinyl. Now I've been seeing these for a little while and I have been wanting to pick one up. The box looks really cool with a little Green Ranger bit on the top, but they've been sort of sitting around 20 to 25 pounds. I, mean, I thought I'd put a bid on and if I get it on the first bid, I'll buy it. If not, I'll just leave it once I get outbidded. So this cost me eight pounds plus delivery. I think it was about two pound 35 or something for delivery. So that was pretty cool. I'm happy to add this to collection, my Green Ranger stuff, which you can see just here. He does glow in the dark, so I will try and put a picture up of that as well. And it's just a cool little figure for eight quid. I was quite happy with that, about 11 pound all in. And I did get a couple of comic books as well. So we've got Power Rangers Unlimited, which is another one that I haven't quite read yet. So I'm really, really behind on comics. These were from Ace Comics and they have like a subscription service. So I just subscribe to them and they all just get uh, delivered when you've got a certain amount in your basket ready to go. So. Front cover on that one's quite cool. And then we do have 110 of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And it's leading up to the darkest hour. Again, I'm not up to date on this yet. So I'm very, very slowly working my way through those. I did get this to add to my signed lightning collection stuff as well. So this was signed by David Yost at Manchester Comic Con. There is a little picture of him signing it at the back. I did have to use their sending service because I couldn't make this one, unfortunately but a nice little addition to add to my signed lightning collection figures. Another retro Green Ranger for this video. It's the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Green Ranger and his Dragon Dagger. With the Dragon Dagger, the Green Ranger can summon the Mighty Dragon Zord. Alert the Power Rangers and play the call to battle. Beware the Dragon Dagger makes its own fighting sound. I don't like the name of that tool. Believe me, it's a hit. A Power Ranger Dragon Dagger from Bandai, too hot to handle. So last time I did get the Automorphin flip head, but this time I went for the eight inch. So I've had this a little while and I wanted to just get the best condition figure that I could possibly find. So he is in good condition and I ended up buying another figure that had the gun and the shield in as best condition at the time that I could find without having to spend like 250 pound on a Dragon Zord and a Green Ranger. But I am hoping one day to be able to grab the set. I'm just waiting for one that's in a good enough condition because I really don't want to buy these in awful condition. So anything retro that I buy, it's got to be as good a condition that I could find as possible. And this is pretty good, it's not too bad. I probably will replace the shield one day, but I now have two of these uh, old school Green Rangers. The gun's in good condition, there's no yellowing on the figure or anything like that, so he's another cool little item to add, and he was pretty cheap. Even by having to buy two figures just for the accessories and the better condition figure, it was still pretty cheap, so they are quite easy to find on eBay if you're looking for one. This month I also received this Sabretooth Tiger Zord, so this was from the Legacy Collection, and it is the plastic version that comes with the little figure. I probably will open it and display it because I do have the, the Tyrannosaurus that goes with it. Now it doesn't combine or anything like that but they are nice and one of my followers on Instagram was kind enough to send me this completely free and just thought that it would look nice in my collection so thank you very very much for that you know who you are really really appreciate that and it's nice just to get a little something who doesn't like free stuff so yeah very very nice and again thank you so much I do really appreciate it and last but not least this is the thing I've been most excited for I have waited for quite some time for this but this is my Green Ranger controller stand. So my wife bought this off of Etsy for me. 
where the guy had 3D printed and hand painted the whole thing. Now the paint on it is absolutely spot on. You can't find any paint defects on there or imperfections or anything like that. Usually I don't like 3D printed stuff, but this is absolutely beautiful. It's not very heavy, so it's nice to sit on your desktop or anything like that. And also your little controller does fit on there very nicely. So he holds it very well, even if he is hollow or whatever. But it's just absolutely beautiful. This, I really wanted a little controller stand for my new desk that she bought me for my birthday. So to add this as part of the collection and it's functional and looks really, really cool is absolutely beautiful. So very, very happy with that. And that's got to have been my favorite item that I've got this month. That is all for this month, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And I really hope you enjoy this kind of content. So I'm hoping to get some more out of there. So like collection videos, monthly hauls, hopefully some vintage stuff when we find it and some toy hunts and stuff like that. I will try and fill the channel with whilst Hasbro take their little break. We did see leaked today, the Master Morpher. So if you want to check out pictures of that, check out my Instagram, it's Lightning Collector 2021. And there I try and post as many updates and pictures, links for restocks and stuff like that on there. So check that out. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.